Well, hello and welcome to another knife video from my channel. I'm John, and today we're going to have a look at the Best Tech Grampus. And without further ado, let's open this up. As you already might imagine, this has a good action. Uh, let's start at the tip of the plate, as I usually do. It is a... What would you call this? It's sort of a saber grind. Uh, at least a switch up, uh, switch up here uh, on the top of the on top of the knife. Um, to me, a little bit. I, I know it's a drop point. To me, a little bit of an old-fashioned uh, knife shape from. Uh, my childhood when we had those slip joints was was so these sorts of edges and uh, so it's a trip down memory lane but also carrying this it doesn't look very murdery in places where where you uh, could easily be you, know, you could be stopped by police or whatever um, not that I care that much but uh, still uh, I sort of heard a little, a, a few things about uh, some heat treat issues with the Bestech knives. I just want to address that first. Uh, I was so unfortunate to uh, drop this knife <laughs> on a hard floor, and um, I can tell you nothing chipped on this edge. It simply rolled. So I'm afraid I can't. Uh, this is not the factory edge. I had to, I had to sharpen it to uh, to roll, remove the rolls and uh, a bit of an arrow here at the tip, and I succeeded quite nicely with that. But uh, this is not. Uh, I have to say this is not the factory edge, and uh, it was an unfortunate mistake to drop it. But still, I made a I made a good edge on it. I think, perhaps, yeah, it's a good, as good as it gets. Uh, I didn't take very long, but I can tell you, even though it dropped on uh, yeah, a, a hard floor stone, uh, a bit concrete floor, nothing chipped from the edge. It had a uh, bend at the tip and uh, yeah, about a third down the, the edge. Looking at the little more the edge, we have a sh uh, sorry the blade. It is a D2 blade. A uh, little bit of jimping on the top here. Uh, not very functional, but uh, decorative. And uh, for some, uh, the flipper is a bit tall. I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't bother me anyway. Has a sharpening choil, always a good thing. Uh, and nothing more than a sharpening choil. You can't really choke up on this one unless you want to cut your index finger very much. And going to the handle, G10 handle, with, uh, as you can see, a pattern, uh, some indents, rather, rather deep indents. And I can tell you, if we're Talking economics, this ergonomics, this knife is not going anywhere. But uh, I'm going. I'm ahead of myself. Let's have a look at the pivot screw, which is this Best Tech logo. And um, for unfortunately, Best Tech has a reputation for making free spinning uh, pivots. This is not the case uh, with this one, which I appreciate very much. Easy to uh, take apart, easy to maintain. I don't know what that does to your warranty, but it's a nice, nice thing anyway. And uh, going further over the handle, we have a combined, what would you call this, uh, glass breaker, skull crusher, and uh, can be used as a lanyard hole as well. You can see there's a hole there. And not an entirely deep carry pocket clip. A lot of the best decks have uh, rather nice deep pocket clips, but deep carry pocket clips, but this is not one of them. Still rather deep. And a very, very nice little pivot screw. 
in conspicuous. Uh, and then you have the name of the knife here. Don't know why that is necessary. I don't like billboard plates, but I guess it's rather discreet. And I have the Krampus there, and then of course the D2 designation of the steel plate steel. Fit and finish. Everything very nicely rounded off. You can see this stainless steel backspacer. It is absolutely flush with the liners. And of course you can see that, uh, that uh, there's a seam, but it's not very obvious. I'll just try to show you. And uh, only one third of the way, uh, so you can easily clean it up inside. And I will see, can I show you the... Uh, anyway, it is heavily skeletonized inside to save some weight. Still, it is a beefy knife, but uh, it could be worse. Especially this uh, stainless steel backspacer does a lot for the weight. It does get a bit of back weight because of that. So I think that the sum of the weight, a lot of the weight of the knife is actually inside your hand. Ergonomically, as I was telling you before, this knife is not going anywhere. I think no matter what you are intending to stab, it will stay in your hand. This pattern on the G10, the G10 is a bit coarse in itself and uh, this pattern that I made is uh, is giving it even more grip. It is a very grippy knife and I think it would be excellent for work even with, with the cold fingers or greasy hands and perhaps this shape, I'm not a hunter, but uh, perhaps this shape would be something for a hunter, I don't know. At least you'll have a good grip, no matter what you have on your fingers. And uh, very nice in the normal grip, reverse grip, absolutely perfect. And the uh, pocket clip is conveniently out of the way. <coughs> and of course, the draw cut, yeah, not that good. Uh, if you use that, find something else. Uh, going back to the pocket clip for a little while, uh, it is uh, chip up and right side carry, so I'm sorry lefties. And I have to tell you there's not a, room, not a lot of room underneath the pocket clip. So, uh, and, and, and this uh, surface is very creepy, so I think it is going to tear a bit of part of your pocket, but uh, yeah, just be aware. Uh, I tend to float a lot of my knives in the pocket, so not a big issue, but uh, I think you should be warned anyway. <coughs> Action. It is on bearings, and it snaps and flies open. It is absolutely amazing action and it drops shut uh, with a satisfying click at the end and uh, it swings out with authority. Uh, really difficult to make it fail. Very, very nice action. Can't really say anything about that. And you know I do love a good action so perfect, perfectly centered. 50% lock up, uh, which I like. I do not like knives with early lock up, and not for any logical reason, just because I feel that that early lock up uh, might fail easier. Um, you might prefer to tell me I'm wrong, but that's just the way I feel. Overall, what do I feel about this knife? I really, really love it. Uh, this has been one of my preferred knives. It is not that murdery, it is very practical, it lies well in hand and I feel for what uh, it's worth and uh, for the around 50 euro I paid for it, it is an absolutely amazing knife. I wholeheartedly recommend it. Just 
a good working knife which is always nice no no bells no whistles just a good working knife and uh, with this have a nice day evening whatever it is in your country bye bye